What is going on everybody? It is Wednesday and the market is looking pretty strong at the moment here. So we finally had a close that's closed pretty strong. Uh, this doesn't count. This one 15 minute bar certainly doesn't count. Uh, but in the, probably since the 23rd it's looking like that we have a uh, strong close here. And a strong pre-market. So what I'm looking at for to trade the SPY here is a pullback for 270 to hold or possibly 269 uh, pre-market lows to hold um, overall I'm looking I'm looking rather long today obviously you know if we can't hold these levels uh, especially probably 268 at the lowest if we can't hold up there then you know then it's gonna be short time but for the most part looking for longs um, tons of stocks following the spy at the moment Bob being one of them which actually just hit this EMA here 141.30 is what it looks like it's at so we are right on top of that thing originally I was looking to trade Baba but uh depending on what we do here at the open I think uh, I think it might be alright but NVIDIA AMD are setting up as well I think that's about it right, we're open Platform's a little laggy here. And the video just spiked two and a half dollars. All right, very strong at the moment. Uh, tech looks like it's very strong. Baba closes around 141.40. It's now oh, there's a the volume. Jeez. If he wants to go, that's fine. I'm uh, not what I'm looking for. There was somebody there at that 142? AMD could be a long over 18. I don't know what's AMD though, I gotta buy like, I gotta buy 4,000 shares to get the risk reward that I want. Doesn't look too good. NVIDIA, the high of the first candles up here, the platform just messed it up. And it doesn't look that good anyway. Alright, well, looking for opening range plays then. Bob could be a good case. Bob might not be a good case. It's headed right into a trend line. Though I think there might be enough to just squeeze it out. Let's see what happens. Spice pretty strong. Moving up a little bit. Tech stocks are selling off now. Hmm. 
the spies right behind him. Spiders made a new lower day here. Netflix is holding strong, but uh, that gigantic wick I don't like. Hmm. And it's it's not a gigantic wick. It's actually at three hundred seventy-five. Looking for the opening range break. Nevix wasn't on my, uh, I didn't put it on my watch list because I figured it'd be following the spy, and it kind of is. Video. It's like it's trying to move up, but it can't really choose a direction here. And now it's down. Couldn't tell if there was a hidden buyer or not. If there's a hidden buyer, I'll go for it. Spies dropping lower. There is. I'm in. And I am out. Take my money. Alright, spies at 270. Definitely want to see it lower. And the video didn't go too much lower. Most part, things are kind of sideways. Uh, nothing's really doing anything. Maybe there's something going on in Baba. Doesn't make sense anymore. I liked it a lot more at the whole number. But we'll see. Um. Well, spies bouncing and uh, one and a half hour long videos take about four hours to render so uh until i see something i'm turning it off okay i'm looking at the spy here we've been trading around this 270 for quite a little decent bit here 
Uh, if we don't end up making a new low here, I think I'm going to get long this with a stop about 80. Um, probably only going to be able to get about 100 shares trading super small size still. I'm only trying to risk no more than 20, $25. So I'd have to get filled at 05. So far we're holding it. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go for this one. See if I can get filled. That's going to be below all this junk, so we'll see what happens. Um, ideally, I'd like to take it off past high of day, but you know, 272 is pretty far away. But I don't know, I mean, anything could happen, obviously. But, uh,. So far we're looking pretty good. I was watching Facebook here. Depending on what it does here in the next couple of minutes, it might end up being a good short underneath this, what, 40? Because we had a failed push higher out of it, so anybody that's long in here is going to be trying to get out, especially if SPY can't hold higher and uh, Facebook can't hold higher. I have to give myself about 60 cents of risk. 60, 200 is pretty big. 150 might do it. Alright, spies that new high day. Got rejected. Hard. Well, the triangle's not the same anymore, so the breakout point is much higher now. But if we uh if we fail here again, this could definitely be a good short. All right, so now it broke out of this triangle spy is moving down Trying to watch the spy too. I'm uh, I'm raising my stop loss on it to ninety. So two seventy ninety. I'm out of the spy trade. strange I'm uh, long the spy but I need the spy to go down for this Facebook trade to really work out decent volume but I mean we got stuffed here so can definitely see a drop I'm gonna go a little bit bigger I'm gonna go I'm gonna go 200 but my uh, 
I'm going to cut half of it if it doesn't break the way I want it to. And then the other half of the trade will be probably around 150. Mainly a close. Uh, yeah, Spy's taking off here. Spy's really taking off. I'm probably going to close it here. Close out Spy. At the start of a good break here, I think I can probably let this one run. I mean, I'm continuing with what I was talking about with my bias in the morning, so once we started holding this level, this higher low here, it's exactly what I was looking for. Just need to find the uh, next level that it wants to go to. I mean, it looks just short of 272. I mean, probably. And it's looking more like 80, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So yeah, I think 80, I need to come out of this. Question is, do I want to add? Uh, Facebook did take off. It's moving higher. No wonder. I click this button it's not gonna get me out right if I click this button that means I want to wait till price hits 271.77 and then it'll get me out Let's see if I can save some money on some commission coming back there's certainly no reason for this trade to turn red on me so I'll be out well before that if we can hold the uh, previous high day here though that's actually a really good sign that could almost be a case point to add so it looks like 35 Not weak or strong one way or the other. I'm not really seeing any reasons yet to do anything. I mean, we are holding it. If we fail to make a new high here, then I need to get out of this trade below this point here. Because if we keep seeing uh, lower highs, it's telling me that the steam's running out and we ain't going to move higher. So unless we do, stop loss is going to be about that 35. Three. 
I mean, we're following this 90 MA pretty well here, so we'll stick with that. Pick up speed a little bit here. Uh, tick is sitting up, but not a, not a ton here. There we go. Let's see if he can clip me. Uh, XLK is very strong. I noticed the uh, financial sector, XLF, also kind of influences the spy here, and it's still moving up too, so you might see something. If we close below the nine, I'm gonna gonna wait to see what it does right after, and then depending on which way we're moving, I'll get in or out. Because so we've been respecting this nine pretty well here, and each time we've gotten right underneath it, we uh, only dipped a little bit below it and then came right back. So I feel there's a good chance, you know, to give it some space to work with still. But uh, we aren't as we aren't as vertical as we was. We're kind of starting to turn a little sideways here. But this way is giving me a new stop loss, so I can go forty. I'm not liking it. I'll get out if it gets me. If it's gonna hold this, could add right back into this again. Alright, I'm out. Cool, I'll take my win. Uh, ticks turn negative anyway. Um, could almost call this a fake breakout because we kind of got an engulfing candle here. Uh, just gotta kind of wait and see what happens, I guess. I'm not looking to add in yet, or at least get back in. So we'll see what happens later. Okay, I'm looking at the spy here again. Uh, we keep looking like we want to move lower. I might just take a little quick scalp on this. Maybe back to VWAP. Maybe not. It's not really a strategy that I have, but it's something that I've been thinking about. I mean, it's pretty just clear, you know. Pop up, stuffed. Pop up, not as high, stuff. Could have been a quick 20 bucks, but I do want to be able to go back and rewatch the tape. So far, oh, there's the red. If it pushes any higher than that.
Either way, if this thing does get to 271, I want to start looking for it to hold again just like it was last time for another entry. I would have been out of that scalp now. Well, if it gets down there. So pay attention to NVIDIA here, uh, SPY took off, reached new highs, got above 272, and uh, just now coming back to touch it once, I really wanted to see NVIDIA move up with it. Depending on what this candle does here, there might still be a good long. I wanted it to go with the market, I didn't want to short it. Not only because you're moving right into the moving averages, got the whole number. You're kind of fighting the market, so... I just want to see the next couple minutes play out here. Ooh, Facebook turned around. That's not good. Facebook's kind of the leader today because it's got the news split airings. Spy's not losing 272 yet. Yeah, I think the big coming back. Definitely could get in, could have been a good entry there. Broke underneath this recent consolidation, touched the nine, bounced back hard right now. But it does not seem to like this twenty. And it's really not a coincidence either. Come back. There's a little daily spot from about a week ago. High is at 28. So I'm sure it's causing some problems here. We'll see what happens on this next test because we're kind of getting stuck now and might want to break back down. Definitely don't just want to buy a breakout either. Oh, 
see a good retest. break well, if it goes it goes I just want to see something at 272 so Facebook's pretty interesting right now uh, spy is ripping up new highs keeps moving higher but Facebook just won't do it so I'm thinking there's gonna be Certainly, I mean, we're sitting underneath view app. The only problem is the five minute chart right now. You can see the um, 90 MA sitting right there. Plus, we got 154 to worry about. But I'm thinking there could still be a pretty good move off of this. Especially if we want to retest view app one more time and then come back. Low 20, so yeah, 19's right on it. I'm thinking, worst case scenario, I, uh, lose 30 cents on this because I'm not gonna you know this is one of those trades where it works right away or it doesn't work so I mean if it doesn't snap I'm taking half off right away It's relatively low here. Reminds me. a tap view app there. Doesn't see a little bit of strength though. You see that volume's picking up. Tape got a little speedy at spots. Spy's holding higher. It makes sense for Facebook to be moving higher. So unless they get something here. Looking good here. Really like to see the spy turn around and fail here. That'll help a ton. Yeah, sector's pretty strong. Yeah, tech is 
Tech has done nothing but move straight up the whole day. There. No, it's not. I need to get ready for this. It's gonna break, it's gonna go. I think in worst case scenario, I lose 30 cents and take off half. No, I'd, I'd get out even before that. Yeah, 30 cents is about this 50. I'd probably take off half close to the mid 30s. So that's 175. And we're seeing some hidden buyers or something here. size actually be, might be a little too big here because I wanna I wanna be able to take the scalp if it goes for me but I also wanna be able to hold on half because it's just a good looking short and I mean ultimately I'd be looking for about 150 shares at about 65 maybe 70 cents of risk and 150 alone on 75 cents Still, hundred bucks. Well, spy still holding. Facebook still holding. Volume's getting less and less, especially on this pullback here. Got the twenty coming into play. Reminds me of my uh, Tesla trade yesterday. Just this consolidation underneath VWAP. Take it short on the break. Although with the Tesla trade, I actually entered in closer to resistance, didn't I? This is 80, so 81 would be my stop. Certainly get big. No big. Right. Definitely hidden, hidden buyer there. Might be here at twenty six too. Let's see, last time we got to twenty two. scalp idea. Oh, you got kidding me. I'm in. I need to cut half. I have to. Ah, that was messy. So I got 150 left. 
so far it's not great, that's for sure. comes back down my way I'll move it to 67 Spy is dropping again here. Spy just broke down out of its recent range. I'm going to add back into this. I'm going to be all out if it gets above 60. We'll see what we look like at the whole number again here. Because we definitely bounced hard off of it. But I'm wondering, since now we got the chance for another retest here, might be able to see some break. Just taking it. I made a little bit of my money back. I'm just gonna stick with it. I mean, obviously looking back, there's plenty of support spots, so it's not too much of a surprise that it's a bounce, but I mean, I definitely wanted to see a break break. I'll hold this 150 though. Still up at 60 for now. Spy still dropping. Yeah, spy is dropping harder. Can't seem to get away from 154 here. Spies dropping even harder. Ticks are about negative 300. Sector dropping. One fifty four clearly sport, but I mean after that. We got to the next whole number. But I mean, we just aren't breaking. It's the same situation with that tested trade. We just aren't doing it. All right, we need to see 85. There it is.
keep buying though. Ah, uh, the five minute chart 20 SMA is about 50. So I'm looking to take off at 50. 15350. Spice dropping might have found a bottom here though. Let's see if Facebook wants to keep going selling off. Come on. Alright, well now he bounced down off of 154. Spice coming all the way back to view up here. Big volume. Yeah, I don't think there's there's no reason to let this go even above the whole number again. So close. Come on. I didn't touch the EMA yet. Just give me out. I touched view app, kind of bounced. Wondering if uh, Facebook's actually going to get to that 50 or not. Filled at 50. Cool, that was kind of a mess, but uh, I think overall adding back into that was actually a good idea because we got we got that pullback fine. You know, I expected it to break certainly. You know what? I'll go over it during the recap. There's plenty to talk about. All right, spies back again at VWAP here. I'm wondering if I have a trade. Low of this little range is about 40 cents, so stop at 40. Uh, thinking about trying to get 250 here. I want to see it get back down there again. I wasn't able to watch the tape as it touched it the first time here. But uh, it's not looking super special right now. Uh, everything started turning around. Tick's looking pretty negative right now. Uh, it just spiked down to negative 400, so things are certainly not as strong as they were. Uh, financial sector's holding up a little bit. We'll see what uh, Spy looks like here, though.
Yeah, now it's a different trade coming back down because it attempted to move higher. Yeah, it's getting caught by the nine too. We'll see what happens. Kind of getting squeezed here. Don't really uh, know which way it would go. Don't like that. Could short it through view app here. See if it wants to retest this last low. I don't know. I don't think I like it that much. So we're uh twenties coming into play on the night or the five minute. I don't know. I think this one I'm gonna let go. Okay, so as we know the spy is dropping, just broke through view app moving down lower. Bob has been stuck at this one forty for quite some time. I'm wondering if there's a short in here. We just recently attempted to push back to VWAP, failed, now it's dropping lower with the SPY. Volume's a little low. Um, I don't know. I'd rather not lose a ton of money. I know. I don't want to risk half of what I've gained today. I'll probably risk about a quarter. So we got a low 87. The spread's gonna have to be a little wide. Hmm. That one doesn't really seem to be caring too much about the spy right now but can't argue with the price action it's about a dollar but I mean I don't actually think it's gonna end up being like that about 50 cents for my entry we'll see what happens at this 140 level too see if there's a uh, hidden buy or something here looks 
if there is, and we do end up breaking underneath them, could certainly get a nice flush underneath all of this. quite. This pass coming back to retest view app. Might actually be a decent short on the spy too. Moved right under. That spies at view app. Post a little high above view app. Trying to watch the spy too, there might be a good short in there. Big seller's there. Oh, yeah, spy's going down. And Baba is not. See what it does if it gets back up there again. Let's see it fail. The five minute moving averages are above price right now. Ah, shoot. Don't like it. Oh, we'll see what happens. There's another uh, death candle. Only problem now is my uh, stop is just a little wider. So we got 55. Let's see, about 20 bucks here. to see some engulfing candle here. Still trying to watch Baba on the side. It hasn't done anything. Ah, come on. Baba, come on, man. I'm missing all these trades. 
Thought I was breaking. Dude, I'm gonna miss this trade. I already miss Baba. Bob's gone. <sighs> That's disappointing. I was looking for two shorts, got both of them, and I missed both of them. Be faster. There's no questions about it. All right, I'm gonna call it for the rest of the day. I got some stuff that I would like to do. I'm not really seeing too much of anything else at the moment. Uh, Spy might have, you know, might be a good long now that it's actually failing to move any lower here. It might seriously just come right back up towards high day or something. But I'm gonna let it go. I gotta go drive around do some errands and whatnot. So one trade that I took on the SPY today uh, was looking for a long straight from the open because super strong close yesterday, super strong pre-market action. Had a little dip down to uh, 270, bounced up pretty hard here, got above view app, bounced once, bounced twice, failed to make a new low here. Thought that would be a nice entry, had the 20 coming up on it and just worked from there. Uh, I wanted to see it at 272 ultimately, but we just came short, so I decided, you know, past couple days that I've been trading the SPY, I keep letting my winners go too far against me to the point where they turn negative or super tiny loss. So I just took a small win here as it broke underneath this somewhat recent consolidation. Ended up being the good call, came back to view up, did bounce higher though. Either way, I didn't really see a trade around that. Um, a decent short, maybe around up here. I mean, there was plenty of setups throughout the day. Um, somewhat of a good long in here failed to move lower after it broke out of the super tiny consolidation range and then just kind of bounced around did up whatever else uh, plenty of action around view app for right now I just I really blew it on this short here I was looking at Baba originally for a short and then I was like okay the spy is gonna do the same thing and then as I was looking at the spy I noticed over my other screen, I was like, oh, well, I missed the Baba short, and then I looked back at my other screen, and I missed the Spy short, so I ended up missing two trades. Two trades at once there, really. Baba ended up being somewhat decent. I definitely would have taken profits around this 50, so would have been a win is what it is, I guess. I think going forward in the future, I'm just going to have to really make sure I'm settling with one stock. Either that or I could have put that stop order in on Baba. That one would have been fine. NVIDIA's first trade I took super early in the day. Uh, there was just a hidden buyer here at this 209. You see pre-market, it came into action a lot, so just shorted right underneath him. Super quick scalp. Um, Facebook got a little ugly. So, main thing around here is when the SPY started topping out high day and just started retreating towards VWAP. So I was looking at Facebook, you know, we had this big move underneath VWAP. Got stuck underneath you app, came touched it once, uh, couldn't break any higher, so it was giving me a really nice uh, risk reward setup here. I think what I should have done better is I should have treated this like my Tesla trade, where I uh, entered in closer to my risk than just buying the uh, short and the breakout breakdown. Um, it happened so fast, I it skipped my, over my order and it got stuck here at 154. Came back and I let it fail me, but I mean, I was. I was a mess at that moment. I just I couldn't think straight, and I just cut off half, which probably was the smart idea. I mean, I'm sure if I saw 300 shares run against me all the way up to 60, I'm sure I would have cut off even more up there. But right at this point is when, where is it? So this is 1055, 1056, 46, 45. Up here, 1045, 46. You can see the spy finally broke out of this range, breaking down. And so at that moment, I was like, okay, I want to add into this, which ended up being the right call, but 
I mean, it got, again, I waited for it to get underneath this 154, and we didn't, it popped back up, but I mean, I took off that other half that I added on for a super tiny profit, probably like 15 bucks. So I think, uh, I covered about 20 cents against me, and then I covered 10 cents, so I mean, ultimately, I only lost 10 cents on this trade. So definitely not a big deal at all. And then uh, I let the rest ride for my uh, trap trader trade, and I uh, took it right where I should. The 90 MA, or the... 20 SMA is coming up on the five minute chart and I just took it right in front of it and we bounced from there and ended up moving lower but I think there actually might have been another trade here after it failed to uh, get above this 154 you know shorted against the whole number and that was the real move here uh, I think that's about started at 11 and it looks like the spy really wasn't doing too much of any help here but eventually it did a couple minutes afterwards so overall, definitely a little bit better trading today. Uh, seeing plenty of stuff, acting on some things, pulling the trigger, but I just really missed that Baba trade. That was just oversight, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. Just not paying attention at the right second that I needed to be paying attention to it. But uh, finishing another day, 200 bucks. Can't complain about that. Uh, shorter video. Won't take forever to render this time, so I might get it uploaded before sunset um but i don't know really not uh not too much to complain about today definitely feeling like i'm trading better seeing things better um just feel ultimately feeling pretty good so be back again tomorrow thanks for watching